Hello guys, welcome to Valor Reviews. Now this is the brand new Techno Spark 4. Spark 4? Why is it called the Spark? Oh my god, it actually sparks. Techno Spark 4 is priced at 4,500 Naira. My version is it at 2 gig of internal storage and 2 gigabyte of RAM. In the box, you have the phone itself, files by Google Flyer, files is actually pre-installed on the phone. You have a screen protector frame, warranty card, a transparent TPU case with Spark branded on it. You have a 6 watts charger, you have a SIM card remover tool, earpiece, a micro USB cable, and that's about it. The color of this phone is called Vacation Blue and it looks pretty cool. It has this deep blue color at the top that fades away into a sky blue color at the bottom. At the rear, you have a fingerprint scanner that is fast to unlock the phone. It has a triple camera setup. You have a 30 megapixel main camera, a 2 megapixel depth camera, a VGA camera, and a flash. On the right side, you have the power button and the volume keys. On the left, you have the dual SIM and memory card tray. By the way, the memory card is expandable to 128GB. On the top, there's nothing. On the bottom, you have the mono speaker, micro USB ports, a mic, and a 3.5mm earphone jack. At the front of the device, you have a 6.52-inch IPS LCD display, and inside that notch, you have a 8 megapixel camera. You also have a flash, the earpiece grill for receiving calls, and a proximity sensor which is hidden somewhere in there. Like I said earlier on, you have a 6.52-inch IPS LCD display. It's a 720p display with a resolution of 720 by 1600 pixels. It shoots out 16 million colors and has a 81% screen-to-body ratio. It has 269 pixels per inch and colors are decent as you would expect from an LCD display. The Techno Spark 4 is rocking a MediaTek Helio A22 chip. It has 2GB of RAM and 32GB of internal storage. Right from the box, you have 24GB of available storage and if that's not enough for you, you can always pop in a memory card and expand your storage to 128GB. Without opening any application, the phone has about 0.94GB of RAM available. The Spark 4 can handle 2D games easily. You can play PUBG on this device but you should expect the occasional hiccups. This Techno Spark 4 is running iOS version 5.5 .5 on Android 9. Navigating from the app drawer to the home screen is fluid. Switching between apps is fluid. Like I always say, if you don't like iOS, you can always install Nova Launcher. Call quality on this device is good, I had no problems at all, calls were loud and clear and the people I spoke to could hear me without any problems. Like I said earlier on, the front camera has a 8 megapixel sensor with a flash. The camera takes good pictures for the price of this phone, you just need to be around adequate light for the pictures to pop. Hello guys, so here's a video from the front facing camera of the Techno Spark 4. It's just in 1080p and 30 frames per second. So what do you guys think about the video quality coming out from the front facing camera of this phone? For the rear cameras, you have a 30 megapixel main camera, a 2 megapixel depth sensor and a VGA low light sensor. Here are some of the samples taken with the rear camera. So here's a video from the rear camera. It shoots in 1080p, 30 frames per second. No form of image stabilization here so you have to be steady so what do you guys think about the quality battery life on this device is decent it has a 4000 milliamps battery that should last you the whole day you should expect to get between six hours to seven hours screen on time with this device and now to the pros the techno spark 4 is an entry-level smartphone for first-time smartphone users or people that just want to use whatsapp instagram browse occasionally and play light like games at 34,500 Naira, it's a perfect smartphone if your budget is around that price. Battery life on this device is good, the screen quality is good for the price, the design is cool and trendy, the processor can handle light games and tags, the cameras are okay as long as you have adequate light, and for the cons, you will need to limit the number of applications to launch as this phone only has 2GB of RAM. Thank you for watching, if you are new here, please consider subscribing to my channel to mean a lot to me. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment. And I'll see you guys soon. Valor, signing out.